The Sport Fish Center has been monitoring Cedar Bayou's ecological health since 2012. Footage from yesterday clearly shows that the inlet's mouth is closed to the Gulf of Mexico. Aaron Horine, the principal engineer of the dredging project, explained that the mobile sediment carried by longshore currents in the Gulf are trying to stabilize sections of the beach disrupted by Hurricane Harvey. This process, coupled with the hurricane's elimination of Vincent Slough, is causing the buildup of sediment near the pass's mouth. Numerous local, state, and federal organizations have been working on maintenance protocols for Cedar Bayou long before Harvey made landfall. Aransas County has funds in place for future maintenance dredging and is in the process of acquiring regulatory authorization for a 10-year maintenance dredging permit. CCA Texas Executive Director Robbie Byers commented, Maintenance dredging has been anticipated since the beginning of this project, and CCA Texas looks forward to seeing this progress along as quickly as possible, and we are confident that maintenance dredging will produce positive results. We do not anticipate any immediate consequences of the bayou's closure on local sportfish populations, but will continue monitoring the area as we have for the past six years. Stay up to date with Cedar Bayou and all the Sportfish Center's research by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Our social media provides anglers with the most recent and relevant information regarding their fisheries along the Texas coast.